I have been using the OnePlus 11 for around a month and I have a few things to say. Let's do this! Spectacular gadgets. I pre-ordered the OnePlus 11 directly from the OnePlus website. I ordered it for $799 on pre-order day and about a week or so later, I received an email from OnePlus letting me know that they were going to be refunding me $100. So I was able to pick up the 256 gigabyte version for 100 bucks cheaper. Go me. First things first. This is not OnePlus's fault, but I was without a case for more than half the time of owning this device so far. And finally, I was able to get some cases from Tudia. Check out my Tudia case video if you want to see what Tudia has. It would have been decent if they would have included one of their little cheap clear cases in the box, but you can't have everything. Or can you? That makes me want to speak on what comes in the box. Everything you need to get going besides the case, but everything you need and everything that should be in the box is there. Samsung, Apple, Google. What I mean is I got the super fast charger and the cable. Now the charger doesn't charge as fast as mentioned during their presentation, but that's because the US has restrictions. So yeah, I'm still cool with it. The device is gorgeous. I have the eternal green. It just looks really good in person and in videos. The black one looks really nice as well, but I can only speak of this beauty. With getting this color, you will deal with fingerprints. And if you don't have a case, well, it will be one of the most slipperiest devices you will have ever had. Design and build, it's amazing. I hate to say it feels good in the hands, but when I hold the OnePlus 11, it does feel good in the hand with the right amount of weight balance and coolness from the materials. Zippy the OnePlus is. OnePlus devices has pretty much always been known for being speedy devices and with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, it doesn't disappoint. The speediness of the fingerprint sensor, check this out. Boom, you see how quick that opens? And opening and switching of apps, it totally handles these tasks like a beast. Customization wise, I enjoy being able to make this phone mines with setting it up to my likes and tastes. Oxygen OS is a pretty likable operating system and it gives me the ability to do what I want, when I want, without it being too heavy and overwhelming. Oh yeah, and if you don't know, the OnePlus 11 is on Android 13. Uh, let me talk about the battery first. Really, there's nothing to talk about because you won't have to worry about it dying. I have had absolutely amazing battery with this. I have no worries when I'm out and about with the OnePlus 11. Even when it's at the 50 to 40% mark, I'm like, and? You also have to remember the super, and I mean super fast charging it has, and it will charge in no time. So honestly, you are going to have no concerns, and I mean none. The sound quality of this device is really good. Sometimes I like to use the speakers to listen to my music when I don't feel like using the OnePlus Buds Pro. This gets plenty loud and gives a nice full, well-balanced sound. The bass sounds great and as a whole, it just sounds very pleasant. I have no complaints about the speaker.
So at the end of the day, you will enjoy listening to your jams or the audio for videos and movies if that's what you like. Display. The display. The screen is lovely. Watching any kind of content on the OnePlus 11 is very much enjoyable. The 6.7 inch LTPO OLED display will definitely have you immersed in whatever you are looking at. We are dealing with a 1440p resolution and don't forget for those of you who are into refresh rates, there is a variable refresh rate of 1 to 120 hertz. Speaking of screens though, let's switch up real quick and let me talk about some unusual experiences I have had with my particular unit. There have been several times within the first week or so where the screen was not responsive and I could not get out of an app that I was in. I typically would have to power off the device and start it back up. This would happen in various apps and a lot of times in when I was gaming as well. So it wasn't just one app in particular. What that also meant was gestures would not take me back to the home screen. So the only thing I could do was honestly just power down the device and then that would typically get it out of its funk. That was a reoccurrence for, like I said, about the first week or so that I had it and they pushed out some updates and then I noticed that after the updates, I wasn't really experiencing that type of issue any longer. So I haven't really noticed any type of acting up ever since then. Before you ask, this was happening before I even installed this matte screen protector. Cameras. I don't want to go too in depth with my thoughts on the cameras because honestly, to be for real, cameras and how photos look is so subjective. I think the cameras are decent. I do believe it does need some work on skin tones. And at times, certain shots that I took, they seemed a little lighter than the subject actually is. What I do appreciate is the ability to change the depth of field. I can adjust the f-stop in video and portrait mode. Being able to select from f1.4 to f16 is pretty cool. And you know what? It actually looks really good too. Another small but very much appreciated feature that I absolutely love about the camera is that little leveler that you can choose to toggle on. The leveler along with the haptic action, whew, it's over. I wish all smartphone cameras had this combo. I love to make sure I am framing a leveled shot or video. The way that this software feature not only shows me that I am leveled, but the haptics let me feel that as well. Like I always say, it's the small things sometimes, you know? 
Another feature I love about the OnePlus 11 is the mute switch, volume slider, whatever you call it. I'm a fan. It's convenient to have a physical slider to mute the ring than having to go unlock the device and pull down the setting toggles and all of that. It's just really nice to change the ring to silent or vibrate without even having to unlock the phone. Okay, last of the little things for me, but it's, it's gonna have to totally be the haptics on the OnePlus 11. In my experience, this phone has the best haptics in the game, period. Like I mentioned earlier, when I am taking a photo and getting it framed to my liking, the leveler will turn colors, but the haptics also just work together to let me know what's up. If I'm playing a game, I feel like I'm holding my PlayStation 5 controller, like no lie. I like that while I'm gaming, it vibrates and lets me know I have certain notifications without ruining my gameplay. I don't know, I just really like what they did with the haptics. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. I did play some Call of Duty Mobile on the OnePlus 11. I felt the gameplay was uninterrupted, I was immersed, and I couldn't ask for a better gaming experience from a non-gaming phone. Now hear me out. I'm not going to lie, if I had to game on a phone, I'm definitely missing the shoulder triggers of the Red Magic and other gaming devices. But since I've had the Steam Deck, I haven't really been into gaming phones so much anymore. With that being said, I did not observe any heating issues while playing a few rounds of Call of Duty. The device maintained a comfortable temperature in my testing. The OnePlus 11 has definitely stole a place in my heart for being a well-balanced piece of tech that is pretty affordable, very customizable, and easily enjoyable for any areas of your life when you need it. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.